Hey, I'm Silvio Perez. I'm the founder of adconversion.com. And in this video, I want to teach you how to create a winning Google Ads budget strategy for B2B SaaS. So if you're watching this video and you're asking questions like, how much does Google Ads cost? What should my starting budget be? Does Google Ads work for SaaS? Uh, should I invest in Google Ads? This video, I hope, will give you a lot of clarity to understand, first and foremost, the answer to those questions. Um, secondly, how to forecast your performance. So based on how much it costs, what are my forecasts going to be? So what can I expect in terms of my cost per lead, my cost per acquisition, uh, my return on ad spend? I'm going to walk you through how to do all that in this video and actually create a winning strategy. So the first step is you need to create a free Google Ads account. And once you create your free Google Ads account, you're going to come here to the Keyword Planner under Tools, Keyword Planner, and you're going to click Discover New Keywords. So the Keyword Planner allows us to research keywords that we might want to invest in. So in my case for ad conversion, we teach B2B marketers how to run ads with courses taught by the world's best practitioners. So I want to show up for course-related keywords. So for example, I might want to show up for Google Ads course. So I'm going to go ahead and search that keyword. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to look at average monthly searches. Now, a really quick disclaimer is you can adjust your location targeting. So if you're not advertising in the US, you can adjust that here. If you're advertising in different languages, you can adjust that here as well to get relevant results. So once you search your dream ideal keyword, the keyword that if somebody searched it, it was game over if you showed up at the top of the page. Once you search that keyword, you're going to want to look at the average monthly searches and make sure you have enough search volume to even justify all the effort you're about to expend on Google Ads as a channel. So in my case, I have between one and 10,000 search volume for this keyword. That's really great. But I understand for SaaS, uh, especially when you're going enterprise and you're going after very niche markets, having a thousand search volume is unheard of. So ideally you have more than a hundred searches per month minimum to really make the return on effort worthwhile because you have to remember you need search volume because from search volume you get clicks, from clicks you get conversions, from conversions you get pipeline, and so on and so forth. So if you don't have search volume to begin with, you're not going to get enough clicks, which will then impact your conversions and everything else down the funnel. So with that being said, ideally 100 searches a month to justify the return on effort. You yourself as a business have to make the decision if it's less than that, if it's even worth showing up for. So when you do have the occasional search, you have the ability to appear. There could be value in that, but it's for you to understand. And at the very minimum, this can help taper your expectations on what you can expect in terms of volume out of the gate from Google Ads. So once you've searched your keyword and you've, you've uh, verified your search volume, the second thing you want to do is you want to look at the top of page bid high range. So this is an estimate of how much it's going to cost you to be on the top three spots of Google. And in my experience, this is almost always wrong. Uh, it's usually a little bit more than this. So I like to add 20% on top of this in terms of forecasting. So in my case, it says it's going to cost me $11.42 to show up on the top of the page for Google Ads course. So I'm going to round up 20%. Let's just add $3 and let's say it's going to be $14.42 in order to show up for this keyword. So you won't know your real cost per click until you're launching your Google Ad campaigns. And if you have any historical data, then you can skip this step because you already know what your real CPC is. But if you don't and you're starting from scratch, this is what you're going to want to do. So now that we know our cost per click price, now it's time to create a forecast to see if we're fighting again that winnable fight and if Google Ads is worth it as a channel for us. So to make this really easy for you, we've actually created a Google Ads budget calculator. And uh, I'll link this in the description box down below for you guys. And this is a really easy tool that will do all the math for you. So what you got to do is you got to add in your goal. So what is your goal on a quarterly basis? So in my case, maybe my goal is to drive, um, I don't know, let's say a uh, hundred signups, right? A hundred, uh, a hundred in, in my case with ad conversion, we don't actually have a product that we sell yet. So this is a little uh, tricky, but in our case, we get student sign up. So for me, it might stop at CPL, but for you, it'll be your product. Um, but let's just say I wanted to drive 100 sales. From here, I'm gonna put in my cost per click price. So it's gonna be $14.42. Again, going back to what I got from the keyword planner. Here, you're gonna put in your win rate. So of all the leads you generate, how many tend to close into a deal, into a customer? Let's just assume we had uh, 30%. And then what's your revenue per sale? So I'm just gonna put uh, $100 here for the sake of example. You can put whatever that is for you and then you're going to scroll down and then based on the inputs, it's going to tell you based on a worst case, moderate case and best case scenario, 
what you can expect to pay per click, uh, or not pay per click, pay per lead, pay per customer, and ultimately what's your quarterly budget, monthly budget, daily budget, and your expected ROAS going to be. So this is based on your form conversion rates, this worst, moderate, best case scenario. So based on a 5% form conversion rate, meaning people who go to my landing page from the ad, this is what's going to be. From a 10% conversion rate, this is what's going to be. And 15%, this is what's going to be. So assuming these values are true, if I have 5% form conversion rate on my landing page, I need 20 clicks. If it was 10%, I need 10. If it's 7 or if it's 15%, I need 7. This is where, again, go back to search volume. You need enough clicks for a lead. And then the second thing is your landing pages, is how effective are your landing pages at converting people? So based on this, I can see it would cost me $288 per lead if I have a 5% form conversion rate. And assuming it's a $14.42 average cost per click, if we're talking 10% conversion rate on my page, it's gonna be $144. And if I have a 15% conversion rate, it's gonna be $96. Now then from there, if assuming 30% 30 of my leads convert into an actual deal being closed or a customer being generated, then that means I need 333 leads regardless of the scenario because of my win rate of 30%. So with 333 leads being required, uh, this means I'm gonna have a $961 cost per acquisition with a 5% conversion rate, 480 for 10% and 320 for 15%. So now that I understand these, these numbers, it's really easy now to, to forecast out what a quarterly budget, a monthly budget, and a daily budget would be. So assuming this is to be true, if we take that number, we multiply it times our goal with 90 days, we need to spend $96,000 in a quarter, $32,000 a month, $1,000 a day. And if we have a 5% conversion rate, this is not going to be a very profitable channel for us at a 31% return on ad spend. If we have 10%, we're at 62%, 15 we're still in the negative and we're not generating our uh, return on ad spend that's profitable, has to be above 100%. So like imagine we had $1,000 per sale instead of 100. So now it's a completely different story. With a 5% conversion rate, we're profitable. With a moderate case and a best case, we're profitable as well. So this is where knowing your numbers is super important. And using the average cost per click price that you found from the keyword planner, you can do some forecasting now based on these different landing page conversion rates. And they're editable as well, so you can change this. So maybe you wanna do something a little bit more extreme, like a 1%, 3%, and the 5% scenario. You can do that and you can update these landing page conversion rates. And then you can also grab this link and share this result with your team members or your clients so then they can see what is expected if they wanna actually advertise on Google. So I hope this was helpful. From here, you should be very clear on how much and if this is a winnable fight. From here, the next point is, how do you wanna divvy up your budget in terms of your strategy? So I've actually created an entire article talking about this process that I'll link in the description box down below, but using this as a reference in terms of a visual for this video, I wanna go ahead and talk about how I recommend that you allocate your budget based on your strategy and your campaign themes. So my experience managing Google ad campaigns for SaaS companies and um, you know, from all of my experience up until this point, Really, most campaigns in Google Ads in terms of strategies can bucket, be bucketed into five themes. So the first one is non-brand. This is bidding on keywords, high intent keywords that don't use your brand name. You've got brand campaigns, bidding on your brand name to protect yourself against competitors. You've got competitive campaigns, bidding on your competitors' names to be able to drive, uh, you know, get their traffic in terms of their customers and prospects. You've got uh, RLSA campaigns, which is search remarketing. So this is anyone that searches your keywords and they're part of a specific audience. And then finally, you've got content campaigns. So you're trying to support your SEO efforts, you're trying to show up on the top of Google for certain keywords you're trying to rank for, and so on and so forth. So in terms of being able to go on the offense, which is how I believe Google Ads should be used to drive net new acquisition, this would be the now the budget allocation that I would recommend for you based on what you now found out. So going back to the previous step, now you know, okay, I've got $480,000 that I need to invest uh, given this scenario, right? And you can decide if that makes sense or not. Uh, and I need a monthly budget of 53 or whatever the case might be. How are you now gonna allocate that $53,000 for your paid campaigns? So in my experience, I would recommend you take that sum and you multiply it by this allocation because remember, based on search volume, intent, certain campaigns will perform better than others. So this can now give you a second step to be able to actually allocate your strategy, right? So if I've got $53,000, Maybe 40% of that's gonna to go to non-brand campaigns, 20% to brand, 25% to competitive, 10% to RLSA, and then 5% to content if it makes sense. 
This, of course, is all subject to your nuances and goals, so please feel free to modify this. But the whole purpose of this video is to help you, as I mentioned in the beginning, understand what it costs for you to advertise on Google, how to put together that forecast, and then drive that down into an actual strategy so then you can understand if you're fighting a winnable fight. I hope this video was valuable. I'm gonna link this article for you in the description box down below. And if you wanna learn more about advertising for B2B and you wanna access free courses taught by the world's best practitioners, then definitely check us out at actconversion.com. And if you want more content around Google Ads, then definitely check out the videos here that we have linked in this playlist as I think you're gonna find them really helpful. I'll see you in the next one.